Welcome to the fourth Explore with Storm adventure. Uh, today we're going to explore Japan as well as the island nation of Taiwan and this island off the coast of Russia, which is part of Russia that has a name that I find trouble uh, to pronounce, so I just call it the Russian island. The reason I thought to do all three of these is the way that you can see from this, from where the ocean is that the tectonic plates are, are diving underneath this thing. So you would expect that all these mountains in Japan and Taiwan, um, if you could all mute for me, that would be best. Um, unless you want to say something and then jump in and say something, that would be fine. Um, so you would expect to see all these mountains in Japan and Taiwan to be volcanoes because we know that's what happens when the uh, tectonic plate dies under, there, it, a little bit back, it creates volcanoes. But this island off the coast of Russia uh, was formed probably just part of the continental crust. So I, I knew about this uh, Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia, but I didn't know anything about this island. It's 200 miles long and 20, 50 miles wide. Um, and uh, it seems to be mostly agricultural with some mining. Um, and um, there's, a, there's a town, there's a town at the far north here. Um, what happened? Well, we're still waiting for the resolution to pick up for some reason. There it goes. Okay. Now, um, all of the places that we're going to visit today have been um, heavily mapped by Google Street View. And I thought it was interesting to just kind of drop in uh, somewhere over here on this town on the far north of this Russian island, because there's a lot of abandoned, dilapidated, four-story apartment buildings. I have no idea why, but um, that seems of interest to me. Um, so the other things I found on this um, island is this is a strange building. Um, oh, <laughs> I thought that was cute. I don't know whether that's a, a I have no idea why they why they decided to decorate that. Um, and then there's um okay, what is this? We shall see. Oh, there's a Greek Orthodox cathedral in the main city um, of this uh, island, and I have some really stunning pictures of it. Uh, not just these here. Uh, here it is being renovated. All right. So if we close this, I'm going to close these. Let me see that. Um, and then um, go to Earth satellite view. You'll see. I'll, I'll back up and show you. This is the this is the main city uh, at the at the at the lower end of the island uh, towards Japan. And this is the Cathedral of the Nativity. And I just this morning I found a view of it from the air. That was really cool. Look at that. That's clearly after it's been renovated. And um, I just, I, I just think it's so great the way they, it, it's colorful and and stuff. And now I also have a picture uh, from the inside that shows inside the cathedral. And then you're not going to believe the ceiling on this thing. Okay. Uh, let me let me turn around a little bit here so you can get the full grasp, and, and then I'll I'll show you the ceiling. So it, it's like that, um, and we can we can zoom in a little bit here to see what that wall looks like. Um, and now, check out the ceiling. Is that cool? All right. I guess that's like a, a light coming in right. Okay, um, uh, let's see. I don't know what I, I don't. I didn't. I didn't. Um, oh, um, it turns out in in a lot of uh, Asia and definitely in Russia, they seem to have a fondness for statue and statue parks uh, commemorating uh, war and uh, the common soldier people, and um, some of them are pretty interesting. Um, so that's what this is. Uh, let's see what town it's in. Um, oh, I, I think it's in that 
Yeah, it's still in that same. It's still in that same one main town. Um, there was a few other things besides the uh, Cathedral of Divinity. There's this strange building here next to it, and there's some um, street views and some panoramas. Let's do this guy right between the two of them. Maybe we can see both of them from there. Oh, at night. Okay, there's the one at night, and there's the one at night. It actually, let's look at it during the day. This guy. Um, it's just some sort of memorial building right next to that to that um, Orthodox church. Okay. Um, there was one other thing. Now I think this is this is way back up north on that island again, if I'm not mistaken. But I found these um, this part of the island that is sectioned off into squares that are um, looks like uh, 500 feet maybe on each side. And I have no idea why, um, whether they were, you know, it doesn't look like they were making ready for a subdivision or, or something like that. Uh, it's just weird. Um, but that's what it is. So mm -hmm. there is a, oh. Oh, go ahead. Just going, huh? What did you say, Larry? Just saying, huh? Oh, huh. Okay, yeah. All right. So before we leave this interesting Russian island, we'll just get a, a, a little bit more view of, of a typical, a lot of the towns had dirt roads, and some of the views I saw indicate that it gets an awful lot of snow and ice uh, in the winter. So, um, but how come, you know, for whatever reasons, they allowed Google Street View. Uh, what's this one here in the Right on the coast. Let's look at that guy. They allowed Google Street View to map. Um, that's pretty. You know, it, it's kind of like really not very well, not developed. Okay, uh, let's see where this. Okay. Uh, and there's a there's a lighthouse down here. I think there's a couple of views right at the very end. I know this one's a lighthouse. Let's see what this one is. Oh, I know that was a weird rock formation. Yeah. We'll do that one. So it's just kind of bleak, you know, kind of barren. And um, all right, moving on to Japan. Um, this is the northernmost island of Japan. Um, I can't pronounce these Japanese names. Uh, if you click on the big names, then of course you get a sidebar. And a description um, is known for its volcanoes and natural hot springs, and you can get whatever pictures they thought were the most important. Oh, that looks interesting. Oh, at night, and then what? I don't know what this is. Maybe some old fork. Huh. Let's let's, uh, let's find out what that is. Maybe we can. Maybe we can search Google. Uh, it's a tower. We're, we're there so far. Wikipedia. Wikipedia will tell us what it is. Uh, designed in 1855 as uh, a five-pointed star. Yeah, it's, a, it's an old fort. Gun emplacement and a moat. It's a special historical site. Oh, here's a map of it. I love maps. Huh, cool. All right, what else did Wikipedia say? Well, that's not much of a help. Um, all right, let's go back to uh, Japan, the northern island of Japan. At the north end of it, there was a town that I found. I didn't, I didn't organize my bookmarks. Oh, right here, this, um, again, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, okay? Uh, but this town has a breakwater um, that uh, the breakwater dome and I, I spent some time see it here I, I don't know they constructed this as a breakwater and I'm not quite sure why they felt that what it does is it protects the harbor the boats can come in and park in front of it and um, if we uh, close this and zoom in on it I'll show you see it's this it's this line right here 
with the ship parked in front of it. But to me, that's just a really odd looking way to make a breakwater. But there, there's probably some physics or to it that I just don't know. What is a gate of ice and snow? This, oh, now well, it's a gate. All right. Here's the, oh, here's an a overview of the city looking right at that breakwater where we just were. All right. Um, I actually found more interesting stuff in Taiwan um, than Japan. Robot, okay. It says Robot Helper West Coast Central. Uh, oh, <laughs> it, I, it was visiting this odd little park near the coast, and um, they have this robot that helps people. Uh, this is that. Uh, so if we close this, it will show us where we are in Japan. And, oh, that's that. That's still at the north. <laughs> no, okay, we, that, that's, that's the central. Okay. All right. Um, one of the things I definitely wanted to show you guys in Japan was the top of Mount Fuji. Now, here's Tokyo. In the greater Tokyo metropolitan area, it has like, I don't know, 20 million people or something. It's really, really big. But over here, between Tokyo and the next big city, is Mount Fuji. And we can just click on it and you'll see, you know, Mount Fuji is one of the more picturesque stratovolcanoes. The stratovolcano is just like, it just built up a cone over one, one spot. Um, but what I found really interesting is that, um, I think I mentioned uh, last time that not only um, has uh, Google Street View been everywhere in China, okay? All, right? all that blue is Google Street View where they have the camera and they drive down the road. But if you look at Mount Fuji, what, it turns out they also have these backpacks. Oh, we landed right on. Here we are. We're climbing Mount Fuji. Which way do we have to go here? Or maybe this might just be a panorama. But there, there's also, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I'm not getting the arrow telling me that I can go anywhere. Um, the top of Mount Fuji is a crater. And um, there's a couple of shrines. Apparently, climbing Mount Fuji, which is 12,000 feet. But you can see all these different ways up there. And this is definitely somebody that had a backpack and the Google camera. And he hiked up to the top of Mount Fuji, and then he hiked around it on this trail. It goes around the top crater. And here we are at 12,000 feet on the side of Mount Fuji, hiking around. And um, this is the view on that particular day. Um, what else did I find about Mount Fuji? Hey, hey. Uh, all right, well, um, let's see if we can um, find, there's probably, okay, this is a, the crater. Oh, there's a panorama from inside the crater when it's all snow, huh? Mm -hmm. um, so, so, I don't know, maybe several different people uh, came up here and hiked around Mount Fuji, but this is what the top of it looks like on a, on a good day. And there are some shrines over in the distance. You can see these buildings and they were interesting, um, but um, well, I guess we could, uh, let's see if this is one of them. No, it's probably this way. Yeah, I'll just show you the building. Because this is at 12,000 feet. And they, they had like a Coke machine. And I saw in one of these pictures. It's a little shrine. And, the, you know, lots of people come up there and buy gifts at the top of Mount Fuji. I just like, oh my goodness. I had no idea. Um, all right. Moving on. Um, some of the other things I found in Japan. Um, there were, Jap Japan is composed of 6,000. 800 islands. 
And um, all of the islands that uh, have any kind of roads have also been done up. And um, Wait, that's... Uh, yeah. Why does it look so colorful? You know, I couldn't figure that out. That's a really good question. These are obviously lava fields um, that have. Um, all right. So these band. This is this is not an artifact. This is this is the way it really looks. You can tell because see these different bands parallel over here on the right. Those indicate different times of uh, different satellites. And then see this this square up here at the top where it's yeah. darker. All right, that was, a, that was a different satellite at a different time that took that picture. You can see some of it has snow and then suddenly there's no snow. Yeah. But the fact that it's pink in all of those different views tells us it really is pink. And I, I really don't know why. What is this? What is this? Maybe this will give us a picture of it. Um, this is, okay, so it's, um, it's reddish soil. It's yeah. reddish gray soil. Red usually is from iron, but not always. Oh, here's another view. Yeah, see, it's wow. red. Good question. That's so cool. That's that's the whole point here is to explore and ask questions and yeah. answer questions. Um, Osaka is a. Um, let's go to Osaka. I um, I found a. Um, oh, all right. So what I did is I clicked on the name of the town, Osaka. And I found um, some interesting things. It, this is a ginormous um, uh, carousel thing. Oh, here it is. This build, okay, there's a lot of this kind of stuff in Japan, traditional Japanese. And, you know, centuries, uh, millennia ago, the Japanese figured out how to make these things with roofs that would float during an earthquake and not crash the whole building down. It's a very complicated structure of wooden beams and supports on each of these roofs. And then this building here, what looks like scaffolding are escalators. You can take an escalator from this level up to that level, and you can take them, this is a walkway, and this is probably an elevator. It looks like it's under construction, but it's not. It was built that way. And then peace, earth, peace on earth. There we go. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, so in Osaka, there is also um, the uh, one wizard. The wiz um, I'll find it here. Um, I think I bookmarked it. Uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter is in Osaka, Japan, and that's what it looks like. It's huge. It's huge. Uh, so I, um, most people are, are somewhat familiar with the Harry Potter stuff. I've, I had young girls when it came out. I've watched all the movies. And, um, okay, so here we're in Osaka. Um, and um, we, could, we could continue. Osaka is, <coughs> is there. I wanna, I wanna go down here to Hiroshima before I forget, and I don't think I bookmarked it. Hey, Storm? Uh, yes. Right next to Osaka is a place called Kobe. Yes. Kobe used to be the capital of Japan. It's, it's still considered the, the, uh, the culinary district of all Japan. They're the best cooks and all of that. So uh, oh, yeah. Kobe is, yeah, Kobe has been considered the place uh, of where culinary history of Japan is. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Bob. We're, we're looking at the pictures that come up if you click on the name uh, Kobe. And I believe um, it was the, uh, it was like a, a really bad earthquake there too. Um, a lot, you know, it's all tech. Oh, this is interesting. I love stuff like that. Um, Doesn't the best beef come out of Kobe? Say again? Doesn't the best beef come out of Kobe? No, not necessarily the best not necessarily the best beef, but they, they call Kobe beef the best beef. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's just a, a way of, manuf of manufacturing of beef. I'm not really sure. Universal Studios. All right, um, so um, near the town of Hirosh Hiroshima, uh, Hiroshima, um, 
I was wa- uh, one of the shows I love to watch on TV are things like building giant ships and stuff. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Can you, can you see, like, see all those blue lines in the water? Yeah. Are those, like, are those transportation routes? Like, I'm curious what all these highlighted routes are. Is there a way to see the different transportation? Yeah. Uh, these are the ferries. Those are ferries, okay. And this blue line here is the bullet train. Really? The 200-mile-an-hour train. But near, okay, so, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, what I wanted to show you is a, is a, a boat, a ship building yard that um, I was mentioned on one of the shows I was watching this week. So then I went and found it. And the way they make these big, ginormous ships is they, they build these modules and then they put them together in this dry dock. This is the beginnings of a ship that they're building. When they get it all built, they'll flood it with water and it'll float out. Hmm. And um, you know, okay, so this is a this is a hundred feet to the inch. So th- these are really big ships here. Um, South Korea is actually more famous as a shipbuilding um, place than Japan. Uh, what is all this? This is like total industrial rusty. Iron ore, oil, wow, look at all that. Now our descendants are not gonna be very happy with us for creating stuff like that, but oh well. Um, uh, Japanese Coast Guard, okay, so we're still, um, let me see what else I bookmarked uh, for Japan. Um, samurai, this is, this is a Samurai, okay, I thought these guys were cool. At first, they looked like they're mannequins, but they're not. They're just the dress laid on a table and supported somehow. They're not actual um, uh, mannequins. Um, but this, um, uh, okay, no, oh, that's kind of interesting there. Um, all right, now let's see where we where I found that. Where did I find that? Somewhere in Japan. Um, what's the castle? Uh, this is it. Okay, that's that castle. Fisheries. Um, um, oh, all right. So this is Kobe, Osaka, Kobe, Hiroshima. And then this is one of the main islands. Um, and, it, and then this looks like an island, um, but it, it's almost connected. You can see that. There's just this tiny little strait that they had to bridge um, uh, between them. Um, but the, um, you know, maybe we can get a view of that bridge because there's, a, there's another bridge. Let's see, where are we gonna get a view of that bridge? I have no idea what this is. Well, that's kind of interesting. And there's the bridge. Yeah, we did get a view of it. It's um, got maintenance going on. Um, the bridge I, I wanted, I'm excited to show you though, is not this one. It's the one that connects that other island uh, that we were just looking at. All right, this island here is connected to the mainland um, through a, a, which is it here or here? Uh, I think it was, yeah, this one. This this bridge here was one of the uh, longest, it may, it may actually be the longest uh, suspension bridge, but for some reason, the, the, the tides create constant whirlpools in this, on the ocean underneath this bridge. And they had trash boats come out here just to see these whirlpools. And I don't know if they if they come at a certain point in the tide, uh, or if they're there all the time, or why there would be a sailing ship looking at them. Um, but the the bridge above them is is wicked cool. It's a really cool bridge, and I bet we could find a, a nice view of it from here somewhere. Oh well, there's there's views from boats. That's probably what this is. No. 
Where's our bridge? Oh, there it is. Uh, that's not a very good view. Let's try this one. Oh, that's a better view. This is one of the longest suspension bridges in the world. And they built it knowing that it would have to withstand ginormous earthquakes and typhoons and, and everything else. And, um, all right. Uh, all right. So there's a lot in Taiwan. I was really, okay. Uh, let's, um, this is a statue at a national park. Um, in Japan, and I just, I just love that. It's like these two ladies, you know, touching each, hands with each other, looking at each other in the eye, and um, it was just one of the things that I got to show people this one. Um, I happened upon it. Uh, I'm not even sure where. Um, there's a lake in uh, the northern part of the main island of Japan. That's where that was. Um, let's see what other bookmarks I have here. Uh, Crater Lake. This has a couple of exclamation points on it. Oh, this is not Mount Fuji, but it, it, um, it's a, a volcano um, on the main island of Japan. And um, there are even some, uh, it looks to me like war um, in, in placement where they had Cannons. I, I don't know why that would be, but um, what is that? Are they selling rocks? I don't know. Take a piece of the volcano home with you? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, all right. I think this was um, one of the southern islands. Yes. Yes. This very southern island here. Um, ah. All right, so I have, I bookmarked this whole island for some reason. Oh, because it has a really cool statue on it. That's why. And this, this gives you some, some idea of why there's almost 7,000 islands that make up the city of, make up the nation of Japan. Um, this guy was pretty cool too. Um, and I don't know, uh, if you really wanted to find out, you could, this little map that comes up down here tells you where you, what you're looking at when you change pictures um, on the side like that. Uh, so let's see, where were we? Uh, yeah, you know, Japan is very, very densely um, developed. Oh, uh, there was another thing. I don't know about you guys, but I have I have heard. Oh, well, that's an island. Look at that. That's an island. Oh, that's the Okinawa. All right. We were, we were just in Okinawa. Um, before we get to Okinawa, on our way to Taiwan, um, I wanted to show you. Where did I see that? I've always heard that Japanese um, like to play golf, and this island nation of Japan with its centuries and centuries of history and development, uh, they don't have a whole lot of places uh, for golf courses. And um, I don't think I bookmarked it, but there was, um, uh, and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time, just take my word for it. A lot of times when you do, when you find golf courses in Japan, they're actually on the side of them <laughs> because that's where they had the most room left when they got crazy about golf courses. Um, big bird. <laughs> Look at that. This is ginormous. This is um, at the top of some mountain uh, somewhere there in a national park. I, I thought that was pretty stunning. All right. Um, and then, then there's some shrines. Um, yeah, let's go to uh, three shrines in a row. This was pretty cool. And this was pretty cool. Oh, well. Oh, this has a ginormous statue um, of this lady. And I Googled it. It's like 
uh, 150 feet tall. Um, Oh, we did that one. All right. Uh, Mountain Top Shrine. And then we'll move on. Oh, this is this is a little shrine at the very top of a really tall mountain. And um, here's another part of it. I guess you hike up there and ring the bell and leave something at the shrine. Uh, let's see where this is. Uh, all right, so that's in the north part of um, of Japan. Uh, we did the bridge. We did the. Uh, let's just click on a random city. And, and see what we can find, all right? This looks interesting. It's in the very south of Japan. And, oh, it has a dinosaur. Look at that. Yeah. So one of the things, when I was just like dropping in on random um, neighborhoods in Japan, it's all very clean. It's all very neat. Uh, you don't see um, slums. You don't see garbage. Um, no, of course, I'm going to very, have very clean. Right. Uh, right. So, like I said, every place in Japan, this is just a random neighborhood. Okay? The storm? Yes. I sent you some pictures of Fukuoka in 1955. It would be a contrast because it shows how Japan was before it was all of those beautiful buildings were constructed. It wasn't that far after the end of the war. And, uh, and it was it was right after the Americans were in there supporting the Korean War. I where I was stationed was a temporary base that was a troop carrier uh, spot for carrying paratroopers into Korea from Japan, and when, it was an our site. When did you send me that? Uh, I I emailed it to you last week. Last week, okay. Uh, let me, uh, I, I apologize. I, uh, it, I, it doesn't matter. I just, right. just pointed it out that it was a. Uh, oh, here we go. I found it. Um, yeah, I, I spaced it out, Dean. I'm sorry. I got a Brady Air Force Base. I also, I don't see the photos. It's the Air it, Force Well, it, it, does, it isn't there anymore. I, what I did was uh, try to show the peninsula uh, in Fukuoka where it had been. It's now a, it's now a city. Uh, Art. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I right. put you kind of a montage of the. Of the right. Stuff. Okay. So, um, if I got this right, all right, let's go see if we can um, find that. Um, uh, uh, Hope Fukuoka is, on, is the northernmost city on Hokkaido. Here it is. Here, Fukuoka. This one right here, yeah. and um, it's the northernmost city of the southern island, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah, it's yeah. I think you're on it right there. Right. All right. Let's see what it what it provides for photos. It's got a mall. It's got a skyscraper. Uh, it's got some cool statues. Here's an overview. Uh, so you're saying that there was an air base here at one time, huh? Yeah, there were, uh, yes. And the, the, where the peninsula goes out on the north side of the city there. I see, right here. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, it's probably a golf course now. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it may be. It is a, it is a Oh, that. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's take a random peek at some random neighborhood in Japan here in this random city. Um, again, just to show you, it's neat, it's orderly. I don't even see any trash cans on the side of the road. All right. So there is that. Um, and, um, you know, 
There's a lot of shrines, there's a lot of parks, there's a lot of mountain tops. Um, I believe this national park here was uh, statue. I think we've been there before. Um, uh, hot springs. Uh, let's find these hot springs. I just clicked on a town. It says it's known for its hot springs. Uh, in particular, this one called Hells of something or other. And sure enough, Wikipedia has a page about it. Um, a nationally designated place of scenic beauty. Oh, that is cool. Uh, I don't know that we could find it. Um, photos. Wow. I love hot springs. I, I spent um, a whole lot of time exploring. Look at this. I don't know if that's hot spring stuff coming up through the town. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. And you know, any place that's geologically active with earthquakes and volcanoes and you know, you're gonna find hot springs. All right, let's go to Taiwan. I found some really cool stuff in Taiwan. And it, it's part of the same uh, chain. And Taiwan is an independent nation. Um, the city of Taipei is the, is the uh, capital. It's controversial in the sense that China still claims that it owns it. Um, and let's just go right to these ones with the exclamation points. Um, oh, look at that. That is so intricate and so well done. We can zoom in a little bit. You know, so wait, look at that. Look at the, the artwork in that. It's just, it's just amazing. Uh, All right, um, let's see what all I got. Okay, so that was that was that one. We're just we're just gonna go for the ones that I have exclamation marks. Look at this. This is a shell, a dragon made out of, of shells. And uh, more shells. More coral in shells, artwork. Ooh, this is really pretty. I love that deep lavender stuff. Um, so this is in Taiwan. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> there's a museum with stone people. This cracked me up. These, all these people, uh, I call them stone people. I don't know exactly what they're made out of, but um, there's a whole bunch of them. And it's a whole museum dedicated uh, to stuff like this and they've got um um battleship made out of people and they've got this these army people and they even did parachuters statues of parachuters and you can kind of see you know it's like larger than life stuff what is this white one i have no idea This looks interesting. All right. Um, this is a monastery. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm just going to go through some of the highlights of what I found in Taiwan without taking time to like actually tell you exactly what part of the island they're on or, or any of that. Um, I think that's the best way to, to really see it, uh, the most really beautiful stuff. Um, and then, oh, wow, look at this guy. I wonder how big that is. Um, all right, so we did, we did stone people. Um, let's see what this one is. Oh my goodness. Here's a close-up of the dragons. It's just so intricate. Oh, 
what what is all that so is that carvings it is wow even the ceiling uh, okay castle clock towers um, all right this is a, a large clock tower on something that looks kind of like a castle um and we'll take a look at where in Taiwan this is. Mm. All right, that's right in the middle of, of Taiwan. Um, Taipei uh, is the is the main city, and it has that that super large uh, tower uh, office building thing. Uh, this is a picture of it. This is pretty world famous. I believe at one time it may have even held the record for the tallest building, uh, but it doesn't anymore. Um, oh, just cool. Um, what ele elegant manner. Oh, yeah, it's an elegant manner. Why in the heck somebody in Taiwan would have created some sort of combination of English townhouse, a uh, very strange building. Oh, that's a very strange building, that's for sure. I have no idea what it is. It's in, um, in this city. That's probably a kindergarten school or something, right? Mm. Uh, for some reason, I thought these wetlands were, were, oh, just a pretty picture of the sunset, probably. Uh, oh, yeah, there was this part on the shore of, of Taiwan that, um, that has some really interesting, um, rock formations. You can see how the rocks were, were laid down and then eroded away. There's also this thing called a heart-shaped fish. It's an ancient stone. I have a better view of it. The, the uh, people uh, a long time ago would build these things to trap fish. Um, when the when the tide goes out, the fish would be trapped in there. Uh, this is just more rock formations. Uh, this is a, another view of that. Uh, um, I'm looking for um, the one that says, oh, I, I'm not seeing it. Uh, maybe we can find it this way. Um, there's a place in Taiwan where, there, oh, that's on the island. Oh, that's an island off the coast of Taiwan. Um, You know, we'll get back to it sometime. Let's see what else. Um, random street, United store, lighthouse, farms. Um, if it's at all possible uh, to farm, uh, then they do. Every every square inch is, is devoted to farmland. You can see that the houses are right up next to the farmland. And I, I just thought it made a, a pretty kind of uh, picture um, the way there are, and then for some reason, these people are outstanding in their they're selling tea um, that way. <laughs> Here's a historical house. Oh, well, I guess that's historical. I have no idea where that was. This may still be on that island. Yeah, that was on that island. All right, let's go back to the main part of uh, Taiwan. Um, there's some really stunning national parks. And you can see it's actually very mountainous with snow, um, peaks. And, um, you know, again, uh, Google, Google Street View has been everywhere. Um, 
absolutely everyone. Now, some of these are probably trails. Let's see, this is probably a mountaintop panorama. Oh, that's kind of nice. Look at that. I had no idea Taiwan was um, that mountainous and that beautiful. Uh, all right, let's find a beach. I'm just kind of hunting around here for interesting things. Um, let's see what the beach looks like. Well, you can't quite see the beach. Um, National Park East, East Entrance. Oh, that's just the entrance to a park. We don't care about that. Mm, what is this? There's a trail. I wonder if anybody's been down that trail with, no, they've been near it. You know, you can get lost doing this. You can spend hours finding strange, out of the way places on on foreign countries. I I really enjoyed it, and that that's part of the reason um, I came up with this idea is that you know I I spent a lot of time um, just looking at really strange stuff. Here's a national park at the north end of Taiwan. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to show us this stuff. Oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, this is probably uh, not a hot spring. Uh, there's, a name, there's a word that starts with F, and it means hot gases are coming right out of the earth. Fumarole or something like that? That's what that is. Elephant trunk rock. Oh, here's a gold museum. And we've got gold statues of people. The gold museum. And then they've got a really large gold brick for some reason. Um, let's see what else. They've got holes in it so you can touch it. Oh, I see that. You're right, Larry. Thank you. Huh. I guess you couldn't get in there with a pocket knife and try to scrape them off, though. They'd probably stop you if you did that. Um, robot statues. I showed you that. Gold Museum. Elephant Cooks. Helping Island Park, Keeping Island Park. Why did I, oh, here they are. This is what I was trying to tell you before. I just didn't um, didn't label the bookmark correctly. These, the, they look like mushrooms, but they're, they're rock formations. Somehow, uh, maybe this shows it a little bit better. The, uh, the rocks were eroded uh, in a way that, um, these, these black rocks were harder to erode, is what I'm thinking happened. So they got left poking up. And um, uh, maybe if we close this, we can find out some more information about it. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a scenic coastal park with eroded rocks. And you, you can't really see it much from this view. Uh, all right, uh, here's a park, a repopulation park. No idea what that is. Wait a minute, okay. National Museum of Marine uh, Science. Let's go there for a minute. Ooh, look at this whale shark. The biggest fish in the ocean, hanging from their ceiling. Um, is, this is some kind of uh, hands-on thing, probably, for the kids. Um, what is this? I have no idea. Um, no idea. Oh, here's a skateboard. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. That's a giant crab. The Museum of Marine Science and Technology in Taiwan. Uh, oh, okay, no, I can do it. I can do that. Uh, All right, I think we're still in the north part of Taiwan. Um, what I would like to do is uh, go down to the south end and um, look around at some of the things 
right at the very tip. It, it's this national park at the very tip of, um, of Taiwan. You know, it, the further south you get, the warmer it is, the more people can swim. And oh, there was a lighthouse. Uh, it was called, um, uh, I don't see it. This is a, uh, there was a black and white striped lighthouse I found. I, I guess I didn't bookmark it. Oh, I wanted to show you this statue. The only reason I bookmarked this is just for this one statue of this archer guy. Um, I don't know about you, but I just love that kind of art. Uh, sand sculptures. All right. And then after that, we just, oh, yeah, sand sculptures. These people are making ginormous, it must be some sort of um, sand castle competition, uh, I'm guessing. Uh, that's that picture. Uh, let's see anything else. All right, so we got less than 10 minutes left. Um, we can do a number of things. Um, I like uh, the view from uh, mountaintops myself. Um, let's just go right in the middle. Mount Sylvia. Oh, that's interesting. Old gnarled wood. Oh, uh, 3,886 meters would be 13,000 feet. That's pretty friggin' high. What is this? I'd love to. I'd love to go swimming there. So this guy is taking a picture of it. Now this is interesting. Um, this is a shadow of the mountain. I, I've been to the top of Mauna Kea in Hawaii at sunrise, and the the shadow of the mountain is projected into the atmosphere. It's really cool. This is another nice view. All right. Here's another mountain top. Oh, this one has a tower at the top. No, that's not quite. Oh, this is a nice picture. This gives you a bit of a distant view. All right, well, um, we're getting near the end. Um, why don't we just go? We haven't really done much like going down the road. This road looked kind of interesting here. It's in the bottom of the valley. Um, well, that doesn't look all that interesting now, but um, you know, for all that Google does with Street View and all these cars with the camera that have gone 10 million miles around the earth, I don't find it all that useful. I think it's a lot more useful to have an address and type it in and then go stand on the street and look at it from there. So um, I guess what we were seeing that attracted my interest is this, this white in here is a washed out gravel from that river. That's what that was. All right. Let's, let's drop in uh, the sale, this uh, Taiwan. Uh, this looks pretty dense right here in terms of living. Let's just, just check this out. Eeny, meeny, miny, right there. And this is how people live in this part of Taiwan. All right, well, I'm going to end it there a few minutes early. Um, let me pause the, um, I'm going to, all right, that is the end of the fourth Explore with Storm. Thank you all for coming.